Is it just me or does it this feel like being on like Big Brother? Ship you out to a dead, like deserted house in the middle of nowhere and we won't know until the end of the week that there's like GoPro cameras in every room and that it's all set up for us to get drunk and like say inappropriate things and uh, like show all the secrets about the entrepreneurial world. She's also called Bun Bun and um, Plutsky and um, Plain Piggy. Um, she's a French Bulldog, she's five years old, she's my office dog, my partner in crime and my pet pig. Um, if you are okay with dogs, I can bring her along. She loves people and she loves parties. So. Uh, that would actually be like a treat for her to get to go along. So if you want the pet pig to come along, um, comment in the group and I'll bring the pet pig. Okay, back to me. Oh, you can go now. It's your cue out. Um, I've been an entrepreneur for a long time. <laughs> uh, I started my first company when I was 18. I started selling my own products. Uh, when I was 16, uh, I started working as a photographer when I was 16 as well. I have been working since I was about 13. Um, but um, if we flip to the present, my job is to be a business uh, advisor. And what I do is in my space, people come in and they tell me all their secrets and all their fears and all the problems that are going on with their company that they don't want to tell anyone else. And it's my job to make them a better entrepreneur, a better leader, and uh, their company more successful. I run um, an, a growth program, so not a startup program, but a growth program called Startup Cabin. So it's an invite only um, uh, program that goes on for 12 months, and it's for uh, company owners. So not only startups, not only tech companies, but um, any kind of um, founder who's looking to develop themselves as leaders and develop their companies. And when I say develop their companies, I mean double their income, at least. Uh, our program is really tough. It's very American. It's very, you know, straightforward. Uh, it's all about getting past those fears and getting past those kind of mental ideas that gives you the idea that you can get forward. Um, and we have the experience from the startup industry all the way up to actual like multi, you know, national companies. The whole journey and that's the whole point of our program to really take our members the whole way. So it's not like a program where you go and you learn at the bench and then you're done. Uh, our program you can go year after year after year uh, because for every new year when you develop your company and you get to the next level you'll have new problems to solve and we take you through that whole process. And except for that I also run a couple of other companies. Um, one of the ones that I can't talk about because I can't talk about the other ones um, is Cedarwood. So Cedarwood uh, rents out CFOs from one to five days a week. So we're pretty much the only service in Europe that we have found so far that rent out senior experienced CFOs to the tech, design and gaming industries, but for a fraction of the cost. And anyone who's run a startup company knows that when you get investments and you start building, suddenly you need advice and knowledge on a completely different level and that's what our CFOs does. And I also have, as I said, uh, a couple of other companies but I'm not currently talking about them. I'm a certified business angel and I'm an associate in uh, Stockholm's Affärsänglar, so Stockholm Business Angels. 
and I help out a lot of uh, business angels and, and collaborate with a lot of business angels. And uh, I also run a podcast and two YouTube channels and they are both um, called Startup Cabin and they are all about building and connecting the European startup industries. I'm 29 years old, I've run companies for 11 years, I'm a branding and business strategy expert. And uh, I also, on the side, get asked to do a lot of like jury duty. <laughs> so pretty much uh, being a jury on international or national competitions in entrepreneurship and in gaming and like the industries I work in. I'm also a columnist for Digital Technique, so Digital Technology, which is a tech magazine here in Sweden. And I'm their startup and entrepreneurs uh, expert. And um, yeah, what else do I do? Oh, I do uh, workshops and public speakings. Uh, public speaking. It's good to be a good speaker. Um, and um, yeah, I live in an apartment in Stockholm. I have my office here in a tower in Stockholm. I also live in a house out in the archipelago. So when I'm tired of all the entrepreneurs around me, I go out there and I hang out in my house. So when I'm not working, I write really big horses and I am part of a sharp shooting club. So every Monday I go to a shooting range together with the other militaries and policemen and all that stuff and I shoot Boretas. Uh It's a lot of fun. Um, except for that, I hang out with my bulldog, I am an FPS gamer, I paint. Yeah, I paint and um, I have, um, I'm a multi-creative, so meaning that I, I paint, I sing, I write poems, I've wrote, written books and uh, my brain works in kind of like 360 kilometers per, per hour um, and um, yeah, that's me.